we are here under the full dancing Aquarius moon. Welcome and good evening. Say hello from Johannesburg North, South Africa, onto the dancing moon. <laughs> Can't get it right. Do it, do it, do it. No, it just carries on. It's full moon, and you must excuse me, I've bitten my tongue terribly, and it's swollen. So now, I'll try and keep this more intense for you, because South Africa went through a flipping intense moment in time. I said to my African friends, these youngsters, no, this is our 9-11. I'm getting white flashes like the rose and I'm doing exactly what she does <clears throat> I painted this painting on the 31st of December 2019 and you know the alignment of Saturn and Jupiter it was with the moon or Saturn and Jupiter Remember, on the 21st of December 2020, no, 2019, was the first recorded um, COVID patient. Yeah, and the genome was found. So, you know, all these things are astrologically worked out. But it's also only a archetype. And if you don't understand what an archetype is, the best way to explain, explain an archetype is an avatar. Like the movie Avatar, or an avatar you choose on Facebook. It's an archetype. It's there's no substance to it it's the cartoon version it's the sketch version and so that's what the outer planets and the sun and the moon esoterically they're not considered solid objects they're considered orbs and beings and spirits and energies and strengths and powers and weaknesses. These magicians will use certain times of the day to get certain spells correct because certain spells require certain planets. Say you need Jupiter for a certain spell then you would find out the next day on which hour of the rising sun is Jupiter the owner of that hour? If you argue in me, you got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They're named after planets. I don't get them all right, but Monday is Moon Day, Sunday is Sunday, Saturday is Saturn Day, Friday Venus. 
if I'm wrong, maybe it's Wednesday, I'm not too sure. Thursday is Mars or is it Jupiter? I get them wrong. I'm not the professor. I haven't looked it up. And now it's difficult because I've grown a lot of followers all of a sudden from the new app and they are exactly my people. They look like me. They speak like me. But they don't think like me. And it's not like I know much. But I have questioned things and been intrigued by things as a child. And I always thought that my guardian, the man that raised me, knew a hell of a lot, but he actually didn't. He was just very good. He was Aquarius. He was an Aquarian. Aquarians are generally very good with people. Aquarians know exactly the fact. They shine the light on the matter. They're very calm. They have no issue with most people. Like Leos and Geminis. Geminis, people have issues with them. <laughs> and people have issues with Aquarians as well. But Aquarius, this is, this is the age of Aquarius, this full moon. The next full moon, how can you believe it? This full moon is in Aquarius. And the very next full moon, which will be in August, will also be in Aquarius. Some astrologers are saying this is ushering in. Some of you will argue, oh, I thought it was since the 80s or since the 60s. No, not really. And what is the age of Aquarius? Aqu Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. Now Uranus, unfortunately, the big daddy of them all, the father sky, according to Greek mythology, was only discovered, the planet, the orb, was only discovered to see that it is a planet. A planet is a planeta, the Greek word, traveling star, a star that travels, that moves, planeta. They only discovered it in the 1700s, 1770, something, 71. Now the mythology of the Greeks and the Akasha records, or Akashak records of which are 6,000, 7, or 9,000 years old, Indian, was that Saturn gave birth to Jupiter. And basically, it's, it's, it's just a slowed down version of the Big Bang, or the creation. I mean, in the beginning was the Word, only the word and then he spat out all these planets and here we are or she because God should be male and female God created Adam in his image and then Eve came out of Adam so God's image was an Adam and an Eve Something seemed temporal to me. What is Aquarius is now you know you got the two the Roman gods and the Greek gods and the mythology. I don't got it all down, I don't. But Uranus is Prometheus. So I don't know if you watched the last alien movie or the one alien movie where Prometheus is, it's actually called Prometheus, the movie. <laughs> and he is the cedar of the earth, or the cedar of the cosmos, or the galaxy that we're in. Where, and earth gave birth to the moon and Mars. Or we came from Mars. Because it goes, Mercury... You know, back then in the Akashic records, 
they thought Venus was Mercury and Mercury was Venus. So that only doubles down on all this hogwash that we've been told. This is like this. When it just could be in a hundred years time, completely opposite. And that's where we come down to double speak from 1984, the movie or the book. We do. I speak in double speak. I'm Gemini. <laughs> it's, it's my game. <laughs> but isn't that dialectic? To look at it from every angle. I would think. So this beside the no, Prometheus. Prometheus is the light bearer, the lightning bolt. The the light, the flame, the Lucifer which is the Latin word for a match. Something that is Ansteker in Afrikaans. It's a Lucifer. It shines, it lights on the matter. And that's what we had here in South Africa. Lucifer let loose. Mad zombies. Stealing flat screens, fridges, ham and cheese. And now they've got to give it all back. Please are come to <laughs> oh, You know, it's called mob mentality and you get pulled up into it. Grannies, goggles, big mess up, gone out of hand. But it's a Lucifer where it also shone a light on a matter. It illuminated it. It was illuminated for the world to see. Poor, the world has no understanding what poor is. Come, I show you. But let's, on a better note, let's have a sip of coffee. Cheers to you. Wherever you may be, and what day it may be. Maybe it's not the 24th. Maybe it's the 25th or the 29th. Because on the 29th, on the 28th, Jupiter will be moving from Pisces into Aquarius. The last time, and you know when Jupiter moves is strange, and it's from our planet's point of view, from where we stand in. When, when the day I went into the Navy. It was the 4th of August, 1989. Jupiter moved into Aquarius for a day. Maybe it's over your head, whatever. Um, it's also over my head. So, let's do a little prayer. Ooh, just like a prayer, I know I'll take you there. Just like a dream. You know what you seem just like a prayer I'll take you no take you there just like a prayer oh I'll take you there it's like a dream to me what should we expect for the next what is it seven days eight days of July Eight days a week. Yeah, so I was interviewed on by this top guy. Oh, and I bitched him, you know, two gays, it's like two women. It was like a, <laughs> a nightmare. 
But it's just, you know, experience that got me. Well, I was a wise guy. And that's the whole thing. You know, I always wanted to be wise, but I never knew that to be wise is not a gift. You only get wisdom from experience. So you've got to experience all the shit. So I put myself through shit, and now I'm a wise guy. But I'm getting, I've got like a whole lot of hundreds, hundreds and hundreds. Hopefully in a month's time, I'll have a thousand viewers and then I'll go live. I'll be able to go live streaming. Ooh la la. Okay, Lionel, how many cards are we going to pull? We're going to pull four cards. Let's pull four cards. So, one, two, three okay let's just leave it at three for now if we need a clarity so let me get my machine going here yeah 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 what's my brother no no so how you doing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay our first card is Two of diamonds, oh yes, two of diamonds is, is partying, hey, but it's not, we'll get there. And then the second card is, <gasps> the fucking duchess. It's the queen of hearts. She's a hoity-toity kind of girl. And the five of diamonds. All this money happening, money, 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 so... Two of diamonds. Two of diamonds means royal entertainment, I told you. The cards are ruled by kings who are men of power and they demand pompous festivities. But the queens would rather, the queens would rather be in the company of their jacks, the younger, more attractive, you see. That's what everybody wants, these twinks. More attractive boyfriends. Two of diamonds is a sign that things are not as joyful as they look. The queen of hearts. The queen of hearts represents a sincere, loving woman. Woman of, of a tender heart. For a man, this card means his sweetheart lover. Or a woman, he will marry. For a woman, she signifies a sincere friend or a nearest relative. More generally, the Queen of Hearts evokes the feelings of unconditional and caring love. That's very nice. And then five of diamonds shine bright like a diamond, shine bright like a diamond. Five of diamonds is a card of reconciliation. Couples pledge to be together for better or for worse, for rich or for poorer. Oh, hallelujah. I was aiming for this because I was saying if South Africa, the Africans wouldn't want South Africa without us white people, truly, and this is endorsing it. Couples or different peoples pledge to be together for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health. The Five of Diamonds is a sign that the difficulties and misfortunes have not, should not ruin your love. It means that your relationship is not beyond repair. So it's fixable. Everything is fixable. If you are having an argument and things are not looking so nice and dandy with your two, hey, then it's going to be worked out.
things don't look so nice in the party realm. But if you're a straight man and you have an argument with your love affair, it's going to be worked out. This is not a bad time. Sickness and in health. And vice versa. It's just the energy. I mean, I'm a Dharma too. So, I hope we can catch up again soon. I wanted to do the 777 for the Kenny Baba, and I will do. Um, but it's a little bit about me catching up because I haven't, I can't just. Actually, I did post. I did make a video, a 40 minute video, I had a big intro into it, I had it on, and I lost the video because I needed to d delete some shit, my, my capacity of the phone went too high, <laughs> so I deleted, I lost everything, even the latest movie, well, I deleted it myself, you know, you always do it, you don't blame it, blame it on the Bunny. So, there's the site. Let's do today's reading. Where are you? I want your play, Sheffield. Card over the day. Nine of Pentacles, Arc of Canon, number 20845. If an eligible young woman isn't paying attention to a man, then let that man will feel compelled to hunt her. Well, okay. I thank you for watching. Please like the video and one of these days when everything's back to normal and you know what I wanted to say to Vane for the pain that I'm the pain for his vein. <laughs> no. I'm in a process of transformation. I think the world is too. According to the astrology the archetype is changing from the fish to the aquarium. So the fish was was Jesus, you know, the little fishies, the Nazarenes, Nazarani. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and please share the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the little subscribe button. Ring the bell. Ring my bell. Michelle, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to the age of Aquarius. Tootsies.